Well, welcome back, everyone, to the ABA Fall National, sponsored by GT Bicycles and Airwalk. Hey, check it out. First round of A-Pros in the gate right now. We've got Climber, Morales, Gentry, Yokele, Hatfield, O'Gorman, Mitchell, and Seacrest. And the gate pops, and it looks like Seacrest got the snap, but Mitchell showing the power on the outside. Yokele to the right of him, but Seacrest underneath. Oh, he slides out, takes Gentry with him. Now Climber has to bail, but it's Darren Mitchell in control of this one. Scott Yokele right there in the second slot. Sean O'Gorman for Renegade coming quick in that third place position, followed by Shan the Man Hatfield. But it's Darren Mitchell sneaking a peek, doing it for MRC Redmond Cycles into the final turn, putting a power stretch on over the quads, over the trips, and to the stripe. It'll go like this Darren Mitchell, Scott Yokele, Sean O'Gorman, Shan Hatfield your top four. Well, it looks like Climber's back on the gas. He's gonna try the backflip. Oh, he can't make it. Looks like he's gonna be okay. Now, before we go to our first round of AA pros, Michael had the opportunity to talk to some of the AA's on how they feel about the falls and, of course, the Grand Nationals. Steve, you've been flying all year and doing real well in the point standings uh, top of the heap, but you've got Mike King and uh, Gary Ellis coming up behind you. How important are the falls and the Grand Nationals to you? Uh, well, the falls are important in the sense that I really just want to um, maintain my lead by keeping them from winning. You know, I mean, that's, that's pretty much the best I can do. You know, if I win, it doesn't really increase my points lead that much, but I will be keeping them from getting a win. Seeing I have 14 first, you know, I'm really kind of tapped out. What's going to happen between now the Fall Nationals and the Grand Nationals? Well, you know, in all honesty, I really didn't know I was sitting five until like last week, and I heard that through somebody else's conversation. Mm -hmm. So I really try not to keep track of where I'm at, how many points I am behind. I just go out there and try to win the races and then the points come after that. That's my primary concern is just to go out to win. Um, what's got to happen, I really think that I really need to do well here. No more seconds because I already have nine of those. So I really need to drop some of those seconds and get some firsts. First round of double A pro race in action loaded in the chutes right now. This is going to be an incredibly important race. In lane number one for Team Mongoose, flying Brian Lopes. He's one of the favorites here. In lane number two, Charles, the Amtrak Townsend for Robinson. In lane number three for Hyper, Eric Earthquake Carter. Over in lane number four for Power Light Racing, Thunder Dan Nelson. In lane number five, this guy's been tearing up the circuit all year long for U.S. boss Steve Veltman. The Mr. Bill Show, Billy Griggs for Iron Horse and the Foster brothers, Brian Foster for Airwalk, and likewise, Alan Foster, also for Airwalk. Got a little crowd support going here for the AA Pros first round. Now you heard what these guys feel about the Fall Nationals. This is an important race, and they are ready to go. AA Pro race in action coming at you. Gate pops, looks like Townsend may have got the snap. Oh, Feldman getting sideways. Griggs on the outside showing the power, but Eric Carter kicking in the turbos and he gets on the gas. Man, he must have hit the nitrous button because he just jumped out in front of everybody. Flying Brian Lopes right there in the second slot. Here comes Foster right there in that third place position. Feldman coming back up through the crowd. Thunder Dan Nelson hung in traffic. Carter sneaking a peek, hitting the final turn. Long straightaways here. The power riders can show it off here as Carter over the quads, over the trips, and to the line. It's Carter, Lopes, Foster, Beltman, Townsend, Foster, Griggs, and Thunder Dan Nelson. A little disappointed there, but that's the first round. We got two more rounds to go for the double A's. Tried to get my head together. Had a few tough races this afternoon, but I just thought about, you know, the, the, the year coming to an end, and, you know, I raced all season to, to put myself in a spot to have a shot at the title and the only way I'm going to do it is by hard work so I went out there and worked hard and it all paid off. Well I was a little late on that start right there. I think that uh, Danny, Danny had trouble right there, it got a little squirrely. Right there I can remember really pushing hard. I looked over at Charles and I knew I had a wheel on him so I moved over. And I saw Brian on the inside and I just took my line right there. I knew that Brian had to shut down early because he was inside. Right there, I, I didn't know what was going on behind me but I figured, you know I was in front and if it was my race to win or lose, so I just uh, looked ahead, didn't look back, and everything worked out great for me. Each year, one million kids drop out of school. In urban areas, the dropout rate is 50%. In black and Hispanic areas, the dropout rate is even greater. If you drop out of school, drop back in. If you're thinking about dropping out, don't bother. 
for your own sake, get the education. My name is Eric Simmons. We're back after these messages. Have you ever thought about what you could do in your community to help today's youth? Bicycle motocross racing is an exciting sport that brings young people together and provides the opportunity for your entire family to get involved. Team up with the American Bicycle Association to start a BMX track. We'll send you all the vital information needed to bring this family-oriented sport to your area. Call the ABA today and together we can give our young people some positive alternatives to what they are facing today.